Well, I guess this is where we've come to. Not that I'm complaining. I guess there's only one way things could ever end. I had to take you on a date sometime. Just because I look a little burnt doesn't mean people are going to judge, right? Because there's only one way to find out. So, did you miss me? We've been in planning for so long. I barely had time to think about this. So pardon if things aren't too fancy. With all the responsibilities and all the people who I need to take care of. Everything. It all had to come down to this. Because at the end of the day, you matter more than anything else. I couldn't live a day without you. Between you and my, my responsibilities. They're so important to me. And yet, I just don't know. Am I really strong or weak or what? Am I going to make it? Sometimes I wonder. Yet here we are. Cuddling in each other's arms. <laughs> I don't mind it one bit. It's my favorite place to be. Just staring at those stars so far away. They make me think what I can do to be stronger. I keep thinking I know it. I keep thinking every time I do that there's something more to all this. Yet, every time I come to the same conclusion, I have to be honest with myself. And other than you and the people of the underground, I just don't care about it all. It's just so empty, you know. A giant empty void. Because I've been through it all before. The pretentious society that lives above, they think they're better than everyone. And what proof do you have? What proof does anyone have? They're all just fake about it. I'm not saying there aren't examples that are real. After all, you used to live there. You used to be a part of those glistening in the sun. And now we walk in the moonlight. Doesn't mean we're lesser. I can't see it as that. No. Being star-crossed lovers. Those who found each other through adversity. I remember you were trying to catch me. And I happened to catch you. Something about that look you gave me. I had faith that somehow you would understand. That you weren't like the others. And that's exactly why I gave you the chance I did. I'm glad I did. Who knows what would have happened without you. You're smart, you're caring, you're lovely. In fact... I find something new to love about you every day. And that makes me happier. <laughs> you always do make me laugh. Which is a feat, you know. Laughing normally hurts, but somehow... When you make me laugh, I... I can't find the pain anywhere. It all just fades to happiness. And I just want to hug you this close. Squeeze you tight. And tell you how much you mean to me. <laughs> I'm not all soft. You making fun of me. I'll have to show you how to respect me then. <laughs> not that I have some old-fashioned way of doing it. I've been kicked too many times for that. 
Besides, what's the point? If I just roll over and take things, nobody would respect me. In fact, I'd be dead, or worse. And well, I guess I've showed you my softer side, as well as to the people down here. I'm still not the best man you could meet. Far from it. I'm still a scoundrel. Even if I'm a scoundrel for a good reason. It doesn't exactly excuse my actions. I've made mistakes. Don't forget that. I know you forgive me. But sometimes I wonder if I can forgive myself. Because it never seems to go away. The scars of the past. Sure, they're there to make you learn. You can wear them proudly or wear them shamefully. But either way, they stay. I'm glad that there's something to remember. Every event. But I also hate it. Constant reminder of all those things I've done. I burn things I shouldn't. Bridges, people, just like I've smoked myself out of areas I shouldn't have. Life's been a whirlwind, an inferno, and I could never handle it. <coughs> no, I'm fine. Just because my quirk is this way, raging fire burning in my soul, doesn't mean I'm filled with rage. I used to be, but it fizzled out somewhere along the line. And besides, I'm still strong for it. Just a bit apathetic. But you up cure that more every day. You shouldn't underestimate yourself. Not because you're some kind of deity or something. But because... Deities are difficult. They're all difficult. People are above everything. If you think about it, whether we were created by something greater, we still wallow here. We own it. And anyone who tries to stop us, they never can. Because we own this place. We command what happens. No one determines our actions. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe everything's predetermined, and we're just fools for thinking we have choice. But either way, I'm happy to have met you. And I'm happy to still have you by my side. To have my health enough that I can walk around with you. And I can enjoy a meal. Enjoy cuddles. Still feel your touch. Your heartbeat. Your life. I'm glad I didn't burn you. Because that would have killed me. I think. Maybe I'm fragile. No. I definitely am. I'm a weakling. At the end of the day, everyone thinks that I'm so strong, but they're fools to think that. I'm weak, weaker than anyone, because I still don't know how to make the right steps, the right choices. I still falter. It's empty. Sometimes. My mind goes blank, and I just wonder, why? Why am I here? But then, I snap out of it and I see you. Not to place too much on you, but I think you've changed my life for the better. I think I couldn't have done so much, or made so much headway, if I was just running on empty. It's sort of like you have a way of reversing it. The damage that's been done, 
it slowly seems to seep away. The fiery hatred, the angst in my heart. It just melts away whenever I get a chance to hold you close. I know maybe it's convoluted, or maybe I haven't gotten enough chance to properly say it. But I love you. I love you so much. And despite what anyone may want things to be like, I don't care about them like I care about you. No matter how much someone matters, there's only one spot for you. In my heart of hearts, I like to think of myself as still growing up, even though I'm already grown. I feel like I never got a chance to. Like all that time I wasted being angry with things was just, just that, wasted time. Emptiness, things that I could never understand why I did it. Hindsight's 2020, eh? No, I'm not sad. In fact, I'm happy. Had I not wasted that time, I might have never met you. And that's scarier than anything else I can think of. You know, you came in so abruptly when I thought my life was meant to be empty. When I thought it was just for revenge to go kill that old man. When I thought it was to hate my brother. Be jealous of him. And none of that ended up being true. It was a life all my own. I wasn't just here to harm things, to burn them, but to bear the weight of my mistakes and properly look for my own happiness. You know, I didn't decide it easily. There was plenty of times when I thought what I was doing was wrong. That being selfish was wrong. And yet here we are. Me being selfish as usual. And I have no regrets. <laughs> it's good. I'd rather be a selfish bastard than a miserable one. And maybe you can be just as selfish as me. Which I don't doubt given the fact that you're so close. Little birdie told me you like being close to me. That alone makes me happy. And whatever implications happen, whatever fate we have, I don't give a damn what anyone calls it. We're together. You and I. And we'll stay that way. Forever. Dale. Well, I'll raise you one other thing. You get free kisses sometimes when I say so. Trying to bargain with me, are you? That'll lose you one. Or gain you one, depending. I wonder who wins if we kiss each other and we both want it. I guess it's a tie. Well... Guess the competition's gonna begin. Hope you're ready for it. <laughs> you seem kinda ready. Not that I'm saying that you need to be. Maybe it's more fun teasing you. <laughs> Do I seem the type? I wonder. It doesn't matter if I am or not. Because, honestly, as long as I get to see that flustered expression, I know it's true. <laughs> You're such an easy one to tease, though. Such a cinder, eh? <laughs> Don't like that word. But the fact that you denied it 
just proves that you are gonna keep denying it. Well, that'll cost you. You already knew that, though. <laughs> You're mine. Got it. That's good enough for me. I don't need anything beyond that. All these lofty plans, they don't mean that much. When it comes to things, I'm much more someone who lives in the moment. Sure, in the past you've seen both sides of me, but it doesn't mean that you can't see other sides too. Now come on, we've got a date to catch. Over here. You first. No, I promise I'm not going to look. Do I look like some kind of pervert to you? Well, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> or is that what you want me to be? Guess we'll see. Don't be shy. You're the little sooner I hear. And what's the matter if you are? Why even bother denying it? When you know it's the truth. All right. If you accepted it, you wouldn't very much be one. You'd be a defeated one. <laughs> oh, don't get that way. Pouting puts quite a strain on things. And besides, if you pout too much, I'll want to tease you even though there's a crowd where we're going. I hope you don't mind the risk then. Well, is there a problem? Good. I didn't think so. You seem like a smart one. Just keep your smart mouth where it belongs. On my lips. <sighs> what? Is there some kind of a problem with it? Because I can't see it. You'll have to pardon me. My eyes aren't the best, right? Or that's the excuse, I mean, reason I'm using this time. No, oh, no, of course not. Would you pick a fight with me if I was? Then there's no problem, right? <laughs> Picking on you? No. I just noticed a few things. And of those few things, I noticed you gave a lot of time to the children down there. And maybe I'm a bit of an immature child myself. Because I got a little jealous. In fact, I got so jealous that I came up with this entire plan today. And you fell for it. Splendidly. And pouting just like I planned. Remember that part about me not having too much fondness of plans? Doesn't mean I don't make them. <laughs> You're such an easy book to read. I feel like every page I turn, there's something more that I want to tease. Something more that I want to read, see, or otherwise experience. Don't worry. You're one book I could never burn. And despite what I may seem like, these blue flames... I'd prefer to never have to use them ever again. They're kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. Everyone has their good and bad. Just for me, my bad tends to hurt me more than anyone else. So what's the point of it? Going so far... Instead, I'd rather go far and using it for more devious purposes. 
while devious in some remark of the word. You, of course. Did you have any doubt? I did bring some fancy props for today. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> oh no, you won't. I promise you that. There's no way you would. Because you love me, don't you? Then there's no issue. As long as you love me, then there's nothing that could possibly go wrong. Or rather, if it does go wrong, I'll just use it to my advantage to tease you even more. <laughs> Don't lie to me. I know you love it. You love to be the center of my focus. The apple in my eye. The absolute deity. One exception above the rest. Then again, I'm not fond of the idea of deities, so we'll call you something. Ah, I've got it. You're my panda. I don't know why. I just thought it would embarrass you, so I did it. Do I need a reason? Anyone who thinks of a reason is wasting time. And besides... You look just the right amount of embarrassed. I'll make you shyer, don't worry. You're underestimating me if you think you can win that easy. I'm definitely not someone who loses. <laughs> what an interesting opinion. Keep talking, Panda. Keep talking. Well, you're not that kind of panda. Just the one that blush shows up just the right amount. <laughs> Don't give me that. You know, there's other ways than actually seeing it to tell when someone's blushing. Body gesture. The way they talk, looking away. I can tell when you're flustered. And I love it. Don't you? I know you do, because every time I say something, get under your skin a little. You're at my mercy, in the best kind of way. <laughs> How wonderful. I just can't get enough of that. Your expression tells me I've already won. And why is that a problem? You wouldn't complain even if I won everything, would you? <laughs> I know better than to think that you wouldn't like to be teased just because you say it. See your body, gesture, heart rate, breath, everything says that you're trying to deny it. But you just can't. Now, hold my hand already. Fine. <laughs> Rebellion. It suits you. Maybe that's why we ended up so damn close. Come on, Panda. We've got ourselves a spark to catch. Well, we could do this one of two ways. Either you give me your hand now, or I take it. <laughs> oh, clearly you're asking for it. Now, give me your hand before I have to tease you. Don't make me remind you of what happened in my room. <laughs> You gave up easy this time. A little too easy. I'm a little disappointed. But that's fine. You're way, way cuter. When you put up a fight, no matter how pathetic or small, it suits you. 
What's come over me? That's a strange question. You know I've always been like this. I just didn't act on it before. In fact, I didn't see a reason to. And now when I see you reacting to me, it's just too addictive to let go. <laughs> no. Just like I said, we're going to a place with so many people. And if someone recognizes me, then too bad. I've already got enough of the hero society on my side. Well, other than the ones that are under the enemy's control. If we happen to run into them, well, I'll just burn them to a crisp. Hope you like burnt chicken nuggets. Well, I'm slightly more than burnt, but don't worry about that. Who's sweating the details? I sure don't mind. <laughs> uh, you're such a bean. Why do people say that? Why did I say it? Well, it's quite simple. I knew you wouldn't expect it, and I got the reaction I wanted. Now, come on. We're almost there. You'll enjoy it once you're there, I promise. Because there's plenty of things you like. Like good food, and entertainment, and... Well, yes, it's... It's a Chuck E. Cheese, but... I thought you'd appreciate it. The ability to act the age that you normally do. Calling you immature, no. It was mostly a joke. Why don't we go to the arcade, though? No, that doesn't suit you either. Games are great, but we could play those anytime. I'd rather this time be about us. So we'll make it about us. Now come on. We don't got all day. This way. Now this may look like a mall food court from the outside. But when you go in, it's actually a five-star restaurant. No, trust me. See? It's like the mall court version of a five-star restaurant. <laughs> Of course, I couldn't take you just anywhere. This one has variety and quality, and I thought it was perfect. This super mall is so conspicuous. Nobody would ever think to find the wanted criminal Dobby here on a date of all things. Then again, they're mostly misunderstanding my crimes, at least in the present. I've mostly been blamed for things I didn't do. And that's exactly the problem. Society's so quick to blame me for problems because I look like a scary person. But just because that, why? I was there trying to stop the problem, not create it. I got blamed. Everything pinned on me because someone set me up to take the fall for them. Yeah, I know who that someone is now, but it doesn't make it nicer, always being pointed out as a bad guy. Well, I guess today, maybe I can forget about that, provided nobody gives us trouble, then I'm fine with it. If they do, though, I'm gonna feel like garbage. No. Don't worry about it. We're here to enjoy ourselves. Let's do just that. So, where do we eat from first? Once we paid missions like we just did. You can eat anywhere as much as you want. 
My favorite place is the traditional Japanese restaurant. But I'm a bit biased because we used to have it a lot in my family before. Well, before things went to shit. I could sugarcoat it, but what's the point? I'm honest, if not to a fault. Because I'd rather be honest than be like liars, than be like those who ruin things, those who I hate. No, anything but you, Panda. I'd never hate you. With that said, don't lie to me, okay? And I won't lie to you. You may be soon, but that doesn't make you a liar, really. More like someone who tells tall tales occasionally. In your own mind, maybe you're not even aware of it. You're just not able to face your feelings. How attractive I am. I don't blame you. How amazing I am. I definitely don't blame you. How together we have a million things we can do. How this world is our friendly little playground. Now, why don't you just relax? Choose the meal and let's go. <laughs> I'll meet you back here after you get all your stuff. Mm, they sure are taking a long time. My panda must have gotten distracted by all the choices. Unless... Mm, why would someone give them trouble? Well, they are mine, so I'm sure they have bad luck. Or fantastically good luck. Mm, there they are. Looks like people trying to start trouble. Hey, you! You gotta come with us! We gonna have the best time ever! Yeah, it's gonna be amazing! And you're invited to come with us to have some <laughs> fun. Yeah, like my guy says! You better do as he says now! How are we gonna have a problem here? Uh, what are you doing here, chump? Why are you looking like that? Coming over here to mess with us? You got some guts, man. Oh, how cute. You two think that you're tough, I guess. Not too shabby. You certainly know how to talk. But what happens if I burn you alive? Yeah, you're not gonna do that, and besides, you all talk yourself, looking like a grunge band member. Yeah, you can't take two of us, just cause that one time, it doesn't mean now. How about I put it like this? If you two want to escape unharmed, you've got one chance. And that's running right now. Oh, I don't know. This guy got a serious look in his eyes. Yeah, and those blue flames don't look too healthy. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Uh. Mind telling me what happened there? I'm guessing two idiots came up as you were getting your stuff. You didn't know how to tell them no. <laughs> Typical Cinder, eh? Not really. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. They must look pretty scary to someone so... Uh, puny. <laughs> Don't get too mad at me. I did save you, didn't I? Now, why don't we enjoy our meal? Plus, I've got a fun little way. We can enjoy it a bit more. Go ahead and have a seat. 
Of course, don't mind me. Wait a second. No, that won't do. In fact, since we're so close, wouldn't it be a shame if I were to tease you a little more directly? Maybe distract you from your meal? You know what? I get jealous easy. And you've got a lot of attention from everyone but me today. Got a problem with that? I didn't think so. Then why don't we just see how comfortable you can be with the help of my little friend here? <laughs> don't get too excited now. It's just a massage. Of course, I'm not some kind of cretin or something. It's just an idea. You seem awfully nervous. Could it be you think that I'm going to go about this in a vastly different way? Because you might be right. Of course, there's many ways to give someone a massage. You just focus on your food and focus on me. Yeah. <laughs> what a cheeky one. What's the matter? Can't you take it? It's just a massage after all. Isn't it a nice meal we're having? Together. Just enjoying ourselves. Careful. You wouldn't want anyone to see, would you? I mean, a massage is a pretty important part. Something we share together, right? And besides, that meal seems to be just a bit distracting. I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have taken you to such a public place. What a shame. And here I was thinking that you were prepared for such things. Maybe you're just too timid. Too much of a sundere to do anything about it. Too petrified of embarrassment. And that's just how I like you. Oh, what's the matter? You seem flustered. It can't be this, can it? This is just a massage. And besides, you've got me and this food to distract you. So what if you're getting a bit, well, nervous? You're all mine. And that's all that counts here. The sooner you understand that, the sooner we can... Oh, you need to use the restroom. Then so be it. We'll just leave this here. Oh, need my help with something? Of course, I can help you. Get in the stall quickly. I'll help you. There's clearly a big need for... fixing this. <laughs> Look at you. All kinds of difficult, aren't you? <sighs> yeah. This ought to make things more easy for you. Treat the problem at hand. <sighs> You're all mine. As if you didn't know. Oh, you knew. You knew from the start. And that's what I love about you. You realize it. You realize just how things should be, and you react exactly 
as I want you to. And that's what I love about you. All of the madness we have. It's all thanks to both of us. Both of us being the crazed, maddened individuals, madly in love. <laughs> You're mine, and I'll have you never forget that. Never. Isn't that right? You couldn't forget me even if you wanted me to go away. You'd come crawling back, and that's another thing that's perfect. It makes you my perfect little toy, as well as love. But we all have our toys. We all have our times. And we all have the one we're madly in love with. <sighs> Stop. There's people. Be quiet. We wouldn't want anyone to know. Now just relax. No, it's your imagination. I'm just whispering sweet nothings in your ear and doing what needs to be done. <laughs> well, so what? What if I don't care that they're there? Then I just do this. What? It was just a massage. Wasn't that a great meal? <laughs> I think my favorite part was you. Having you here with me. Able to see all those wonderful things that you have to say. Teasing you, more teasing you, saving you, getting jealous. The whole fundamental part of it all that you should know is it's never really over. <laughs> I'll take these lips and carry you as high as the angels or as low as the devil. Oh, by the way, if you're a deity, I'm the devil, and I'll take good care of you, because I'm not about to let you get complacent, not about to let myself loose and taking care of my little sundry. Mm, you're such a cutie, especially for a little pipsqueak, more than I can say for most. <laughs> Even though you're the only one I've ever had, I've gotten to observe a lot of people, and they're not as cute as you. Their reaction's not as heartfelt, and that's why I love it. Because I know when I tease you, I get an honest reaction, one that's perfectly in sync with what I desire. I want someone to tease and take care of, and you're just it. I plan on taking good care of you, you know. That's why I like to make you shy. Oh, what a cute panda I've come across. It makes me so incredibly... <laughs> So incredibly, what's the word, wanting to tease you more, well that's always welcome, you're so ticklish, I did say I might earlier, but after your massage at dinner I just, well, I think it's only fair that I tickle you now, as revenge for you having a problem with it. What's the matter? I think I could just let you off the hook that easy. No. Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
You're way too fun to tease for that. Now what say you get walking? So as to avoid another mealtime distress. <laughs> no, it was fun. I just longed more for you. All I wanted was more of you. All I've ever wanted was more of you. Your heart, your desires all played out in front of me. I want to make your dreams come true. After everything's said and done, just cuddling with you is enough. Holding you close and I want to do it as we walk. So I will. Get up here. Yeah, so what? You got a problem with my methods? Then you should say something. <laughs> You've got some nerve to try and want something without saying it. Make it clear. You Sundere. <laughs> Maybe that's your nickname after all. I didn't think Panda suited you quite as much. <laughs> and your reaction from every time I say it. It's just too fun. <laughs> You're something else. My cute little Sundere. Holding you like this. Is it bothersome that I'm caressing you? Cuddling you as we walk? I am just a bit taller, you know. Maybe not that much taller. But I'm still a bit more. And that makes me... The superior one for holding you like this. No one else can do it. No one else can ever take my place. That's exactly what I'll continue to make you feel small. To make you feel embarrassed. To cuddle you like this. Because you're special to me. Beyond everything else I've ever done. You're so incredibly special. Do you understand why? No, you probably don't get it. I bet it's all just kind of a game in your mind, isn't it? This whole situation probably seems surreal, but I'm dead serious. When I look at you, when I hear your voice, when I see your cute reactions, it awakens a devil in me. One that's very envious, green with envy even, and wants all of that sweet time you have. I want to savor it, tantalizingly savor it. Make everything about you mine. All I want is you to think about me always, to only have me in your thoughts and dreams to make you completely infatuated with me like I am to you. Mm, what's the matter? Don't tell me you're getting all kinds of nervous. God, if that's the case, we'll have to do this more often. I know you want to date with me more often than not. I'll make you shy and all the goodies that come with it. Don't hate me now, unless you want to. It'll just make you love me all the more, since the difference between love and hate is so close. I'll just flip it upside down, your whole world just like this. Up you go. Gotcha. <laughs> And seal the deal with a kiss. Maybe two. Maybe three. Maybe a whole lot more. No, definitely a whole lot more. Of course, I like teasing you. I've always liked it. It's just before 
You got to see all the soft parts of me. All the parts which, at the end of the day, they're soft and squishy and all kinds of different things, but now you've gotten to see more of a rough side. Those villain tendencies, even though I was never really a villain. Yeah, I gotta make you feel ten times as embarrassed. I hope you're prepared for next time. <laughs>